This is another in a series of demos that depict Longhorn's business value in different vertical industries. In particular, we'll take a look at a couple of the ways that telecom companies can leverage Longhorn. Specifically, we'll see a call center application that handles roadside assistance. The software for the call center is just one example of a new class of application that leverages the telco's core competencies in things like messaging and call control and presence and location and billing, etc and highlights two great opportunities. One is that independent software vendors or ISVs and enterprises can embed the telco's network services into their own software solutions by using programmable web services. And the second is that those same third parties can leverage the telco's core infrastructure for billing and authentication. From an architectural perspective, this demo is pretty much all about Indigo, at least from the perspective of using secure, reliable, transacted communications uh, over XML web services. But we do touch on Avalon for visualization, WinFS for the contacts and presence, and fundamentals for ease of deployment. Let's start as the call center operator who has an incoming call from a stranded motorist. Here the smart client app coordinates internal web service calls for customer information while also retrieving location information from the telco's web services. So in addition to call handling and telephony support, the application aggregates from both internal and external services the information needed for fast response. In fact, the telco's location services are also used to dispatch the service trucks. In this case, the motorist has a flat tire. So we'll click Dispatch to see the available trucks, and then we'll assign the closest truck to this service call. So we assign the driver to the call, even using MapPoint to calculate and send driving directions. But in this case, the motorist is located in a large unmapped area, so we anticipate that the driver may have a hard time finding the stranded motorist based on street directions alone. That's where the phone company could help an ISV provision accounts and bill for software services. Telcos are among the few organizations that have the infrastructure to do that. So now we have dynamically provisioned access to satellite and aerial imagery that helps us see that the stranded motorist is in the southeast corner of the Microsoft Silicon Valley campus parking lot. In fact, let's click on the truck we dispatched to do the magic carpet ride of his driving route. We can see from his perspective where he needs to go to rendezvous with the car. As he heads south, he goes around the back of the campus and then drives through the parking lot to reach the stranded car that's behind the building in the corner near the freeway. That's the kind of smart, connected client that just brings everything together. Customer data, location data, maps, driving directions, aerial imagery, real-time communications, all seamlessly delivered. Let's just add a note for the truck driver telling him how to find the car and we'll close out this incident. As we do, we can even get real-time updates on truck location and status if any follow-up is needed later. So we've taken a look at a couple of the ways that telcos could provide a crucial link for commercial web services and software. As corporate developers and their end users assemble integrated suites of software and services, they'll welcome telcos core strengths in things like authentication and billing and network services especially in handling the wide variety of service choices and billing options that each desktop may choose individually. My name's Carter Maslin and I want you to be a Longhorn Evangelist, so don't hesitate to contact me. Have fun.